Messing with your power supply is a safety risk. It could result in injury or death. Don't try this. Practically the only complaint I've heard about the Inwin Chopin ITX case is that the power supply fan gets noisy over time. I haven't experienced this myself, but I decided to look into an impractical solution I found on an internet forum. A member of the Linus Tech Tips forums wrote that he replaced the stock fan with a Noctua fan, and that solved his issues. Noctua has a reputation for making quality, quiet fans, so it makes sense that this might work. I tried. It turns out, the swap isn't that simple. Here's the stock fan. It's a Sunon Maglev 40mm 2-pin fan. I replaced it with the Noctua NF-A4X10 FLX fan. Well, I kind of replaced it. We'll get to that. Actually, before I committed to the replacement, I had to do a bunch of testing. Part of the reason modding something like this can be dangerous is because you could kill yourself with electrical power. The other part is that it's hard to know if your mod will be safe for use in the long run. I was testing the power supply, trying to get a handle on the behavior of the fan. I ran the system for about 90 minutes in the stock fan configuration, doing some serious stress testing on the CPU and GPU. I had the power supply and system outside the case, with the fan visible so I could see that it was running, but the rest of the power supply was wrapped in anti-static bubble wrap to insulate the power supply and keep it warm. The uh, stress test was the Valley Benchmark and a simultaneous Blender 3D animation render. The power supply got so hot that it was too hot to touch, but the stock fan never spun up. The hot electronic smell got so strong that I had to kill the stress test, I was concerned that the fan wasn't working. It turned out, the stock fan works fine. I have no idea if the power supply is designed to tolerate that much heat, or if there's a malfunction in its fan control. Like I said, not knowing how the system is designed makes this mod dangerous. There were a few other problems too. The Noctua fan's 2-pin adapter has reversed polarity from the stock fan, so I had to solder and reconnect those wires. The Noctua moves about 10% less air at the max RPM. Both of them have a max RPM of 4500. The Noctua has a long cable that you have to jam into the power supply where there wasn't a cable before and there probably shouldn't be one now. The starting voltage of the Noctua seems to be higher than the Sunon. That means it might not start up when the stock fan would have, if it would have. There are too many variables to recommend this as a solution. However, for the sake of this video, I decided to try something else. I installed the Noctua fan with the fan's 3-pin cable running out of the power supply with the rest of the power cables. I plugged that into the motherboard using the included low noise adapter and then set the fan header to run at maximum speed. The tiny fan is practically inaudible with the low noise adapter and runs non-stop at about 3700 RPM and does a decent job of moving air through the power supply. In the long run, I can't say if that solution is any good. With an Octua fan costing about $15 and a new power supply costing almost as much as the case, I think I'd rather just live with the noise than take any of these risks. Thanks for watching.